you know what happens to your body when you go on a roller coaster? Exactly what I was looking for. This is a case for investigation. Ouch. Being scared, you might love it or you might hate it, but whichever it is, big changes happen with your body. And I'm going to show you what those changes are by riding one of Britain's scariest roller coasters. Roller coasters are exciting. Sometimes we scream, sometimes we puke. So why do we keep going on them? We've evolved over millions of years to either fight dangerous things or run away from them. And it's the reward that our brain gives us when we survive something that feels dangerous that keeps us coming back for more. I'm taking on a terrifying ride at Alton Towers to see how my body deals with fear. So I'm going to be wearing this sensor, which is going to be measuring my heart rate, my heart rhythm, my breathing rate, loads of different stuff that is going to be telling me what's happening with my body and measuring essentially how frightened I am. OK. That's my heart rate there. At the moment, it's a normal resting heartbeat. Keep an eye on it. Let's see what happens when I take on this scary ride. Now, very quickly, my body has started to feel fear. And when you're scared, your heart rate rises. Look at my beats per minute. They're going up rapidly. That's because my body has started to release adrenaline, a hormone that prepares you to deal with a dangerous situation. Adrenaline comes from the adrenal glands at the top of your kidneys. It tells your liver to release more glucose to your muscles to give them energy and make sure you're charged up and ready to face your fear. <laughs> that was completely terrifying. My heart rate's very high, but as I finish the ride, it goes up even further. Let's find out why. As the ride starts, my heart rate remains fairly flat, because I basically don't think the roller coasters are all that frightening. But the ride is so cleverly designed that I become completely convinced my legs are going to be chopped off and I'm definitely going to die. That's when my heart rate almost doubles, and I'm totally terrified. My body is responding in exactly the same way it would if I was being attacked, and that is the fear response. But here's the thing. At the end of the ride, this point here, my heart rate goes up another 10 beats. And that's because I'm so happy I survived the dangerous situation. That's the reason we love these scary rides. Because once you've survived it, you get that feeling of extreme happiness and a spike of adrenaline, and that's what makes your heart go faster at the end. So what happens to your body when you go through the same scary experience a second time? I'm going to go on the ride again. So with frightening situations, you can either make it worse and get more frightened every time it happens, or you can learn that actually nothing bad's going to happen to me on a roller coaster. I didn't die last time, so this time I'm going to control my fear and be less frightened. This is the beginning bit where my heart rate previously was very normal, and this time it is a bit exciting. On this second ride, my heart rate isn't jumping up as quickly as the first ride. And that's because I know what to expect, and therefore, my fear response is not as dramatic. Now I've learned that nothing bad happens, I can really control that fear all the way through it. And you can do that with exams, you can do that with films, you can do it with anything you find frightening. You can just realise that actually, very few things are really dangerous and you can stop being frightened. If you're not frightened, you can keep your head together. So during the second ride, my heart rate only goes up to 112 during the most exciting bit of the ride. And at the end of the ride, I don't get that extra bump in heart rate. And I didn't feel that amazing euphoric sense of I've survived something really dangerous. And that's the thing I'm now craving. Luckily, there are loads more rides. <laughs>